are workers going to have a chance to share in prosperity? So the question is, how is everyone going to share in the wealth? Workers of the world unite. <laughs> it's not just a slogan anymore. It's a way we're going to have to do our work. I got in trouble for saying this with Glenn Beck, but I said workers of the world unite is, is not just a slogan anymore. It's a way we need to do our work. Yeah, well, that's what's coming. Global Marxism, redistribution of wealth. He has visited Obama at the White House 22 times that we know of, presumably to advise the president on important issues, including health care. He has repeated over and over his conviction that there must, if we're going to survive, must be wealth redistribution. Not only that, we now have startling new audio from him that we're working with Breitbart TV. We will bring that to you next week. Wait until you hear this. One of the things that Annie Stern, however, has said is that um, he knows that there are undocumented workers who are members of his union. He knows that he has illegal aliens at SCIU not only from Latin America, but also all over the world. Here in America, he knows he is breaking the law. Now, gosh, why would you, what, what's going on here? What's going on here? Stern has already, uh, is already driving down wages to bring us in line with the rest of the world. That's what they have to do, drive down, no matter what they tell you, drive down our standard, standard of living. He's already increasing his membership around the world, which makes him less loyal to the United States and workers of the world. He is working on adding millions of members to his union roles abroad, not here. He could care less where they come from, how they got here to America, what, what the motives are, what the goals are, or how it helps or hurts America. Workers of the world unite. Andy Stern is in this for Andy Stern. I want you to take a second to think about this logically, will you? What was the problem with uh, GM? Was it the product? I don't think so. I used to own all GM cars. They were great cars, great cars. The problem was is really bad management that had also coupled with really bad labor union agreements. They couldn't afford to make a car here in America. You know this to be true. Why? Because our union, our labor was so expensive. We were paying hundreds of thousands of people at GM who didn't even work for GM. It got to the point where it was so expensive to build cars here in America, they couldn't make it work anymore. They still can't. So what did they do? They began to outsource their jobs. Yes, but we're the great thinkers. We'll just be the managers. Mm -hmm. How's that working out for you? Now we're saying the unions are, we need to globalize, but we have to spread our wealth around. Let's please do some math here. There are three billion people on planet Earth that make less than $2.50 a day. Less than $2.50. Let me ask you a simple question. Which is more likely that we're going to be able to unionize the whole planet and bring the rest of the world up to our standard, going from 75 cents to a buck a day to making over $300 a day? Or is it more likely when we look at this globally that there's only really one really expensive country with a very high standard of living that will be, have to be brought down to be more in line with everybody else? I mean, if everybody else starts to make $10 a day, they thrill. Meanwhile, you'll thrill, even if you have the highest standard of living, at making $20 a day. You might be thinking, okay, maybe Andy Stern has some ulterior motives. Sure, sure, sure. He's, ho he's been at the White House more than anybody else on earth still, but that doesn't mean that President Obama are on the same page. Really? I'll spend my entire adult life working with SCIU. I'm not a newcomer to this. They are on the same page. Obama is trying to overwhelm the system right now with massive new government takeover programs. I mean, look at these bills. This is just for health care. Stimulus. This is insanity. We have cap and trade bill that's coming soon. On top of that, we also uh, have to get ready because they're going to jam down the amnesty down our throats. Again, wait a minute. Why would we jam down amnesty down our throats? Oh, Andy Stern. Why, in the middle of a heated health care reform and cap and trade, would you also try immigration, too? That's nuts. Or is it? Is there a method to their madness? Could they be looking at the 20 million illegal aliens who suddenly are going to be made U.S. citizens as new American taxpayers who can help lift the burden and foot the bill 
for the rest of this insane plan. It will drive down wages, drive up tax revenues with tens of millions of new tax filers. That's what they'll say. Look, Obama is insisting on all of this all at once. His entire transformation of America package, all within 12 months of his administration. Everything has to happen right now or we're doomed, except for our troops who are actually f standing against gunfire. He can't even make a decision what to do for our troops in Afghanistan. With a request from his general, I bet it's not this big. I bet it's not. It's been sitting on his desk since August. We are talking here, America, about the end of our way of life. This is it, the health care bill. Remember, this is the Constitution. This is not some crazy, wild conspiracy tale. They already control our banks. They can't find that in the Constitution. They control the auto industry. Nowhere in the Constitution. They're now going to have the ability to control the temperature inside of your home with the passage of a new cap and trade. They're trying to take control of one sixth of the economy, one sixth with the health care. They're talking about taking over uh, the Internet in the name of neutrality. Who asked them to? Where's the problem there? People have never had more freedom to express themselves than they do now, right now, on the Internet. They are moving at the speed of light, and we've got to get up off of our couches and get into their offices. You must call your senator. You must show up in their office. You must, you must get there. If we don't stop this insanity now, they will fundamentally transform America. It must end. You must make a choice. This or this. Back in a second.